Hi guys, um, in today's episode we're going to talk about our next generation and why it's important to support them. Um, my local new allotment is Shinrig Road Allotments and it's right opposite my house and last year they set about the task of building an area where local schools can actually benefit. So I'm going to take you around showing you what they've built so far. It's still a work in progress. Um, but UK Here We Grow, uh, in association with Oakland Gardens, has brought some stuff along to help them along with this. So uh, first thing they've done, if you want to follow me, is they've built all of these raised beds. Now, this is a dual purpose area. These beds can be rented by somebody if they don't want a whole allotment, but they're also for the children to plant and uh, they are sort of... Uh, uh, they are vegging that they're going to grow when they come up here. There's a, a green shed that's been purchased for them and uh, that's where they're going to store all their sort of pots and pans and things. And um, the Allotment Society, PA, um, who is the secretary of the allotments, has worked really hard getting all sorts of funding um, for, for this project. And one of the funding that he got was from the National Lottery. Now this is... Um, a public toilet that the children can use it's got solar lighting and everything in there and it's uh, one of those compost toilets so it's uh, you know it's a great resource to have on an allotment and um, of course it's uh, been funded by the national lottery now these beds they go right away up to a polytunnel and um, this polytunnel i don't know maybe it's around about 15 foot by 14 foot maybe a bit longer and there's some nice raised beds in here. Now, at the moment, the soil in here is going to be replaced and everything else. But this, this has basically been set up for the children to, um, to come in here and garden when it's raining, things like that, and to grow their tomatoes and what have you. But here is a box of stuff that um, has been donated, but it's going to be a bit more about that a little bit later on. But I just want to take you overall today and show you exactly what's been going on. So that's the polytunnel they have. Over here then, there's another shed there where they store some more of their tools and things. And they've got a sitting area and it's just a load of logs that's from a local tree that was cut down. And it's great for them to sit around and have a chat or talk and... Uh, do some drawings and things like that, eat their pack lunches, anything like that, you know. A couple more raised beds here again for them. And then we have proper tables here. Now, you may have seen these before on a couple of our videos um, because it's usually where I sit down sometimes to do the video because it makes a great, they're nice big sturdy tables, they're not going anywhere and it makes a great backdrop for certain things. They've got a pond here that hasn't been quite finished yet and we've got some work going on but this pond is uh, been designed so that they can come here and they can learn about wildlife and things like that. So they'll be in here with little nets and they'll be taking out some of the like frogs and newts and any of the other insects and you know sort of water fleas and things like that and they'll be looking at that and learning about that as well. Then a little bit further on there's a base here that's ready and that's going to be for some sort of another shed but it's going to have like an open sort of area so that they can get in there if it, if it starts drizzling and they can still do their drawings and works or draw what they found and things like that so it really is a good learning aid for the children now we've got um, a couple of school children coming up and um, and the head teacher from a school that I went to as a child uh, called Llanhaech Junior School and the head teacher although being different now as, uh, from when I was there has come up um, to kindly accept some things that UK Here We Grow and Oakland Gardens have uh, donated across because we believe in supporting the younger generation because without them there is no future as far as allotments goes and uh, next you're going to see some photographs um, of the children it's only photos because we're unable to get permission for video from all the parents in time, but we were able to get permission for photos. So there's some photographs of the children around all the stuff that um, Oakland Gardens 
um, and has provided us to be able to do this with, uh, with this particular allotment. And we will then go on to an interview with the head teacher. We're with Mrs. Greenhold from Clankayach Junior, Junior School. School in Nelson. It just happens to be the school that I went to. And um, with ourselves, UK Here We Grow and Oakland Gardens, we were able to secure all of this equipment for the new area where the schools are going to be used. So, Mr. Greenhold, why was it you thought it'd be a good idea for you to come up here? Well, it was Pierre that first contacted us um, and talked about a partnership. We had had allotments built on our site, uh, but we've got lots of couch grass. Couch grass, Couch yeah. grass, and um, because we weren't there often enough, we weren't able to maintain it. So this was an ideal opportunity to have the expertise from the community yeah. uh, to maintain things and provide us with advice, but for the children still to have that experience. Yeah, and I think it's really important that the kids get their hands in the dirt these days because it seems to be that obviously now allotment tiers tend to be getting an older generation. Yes. And I, I went to this school myself and I didn't have this opportunity and I think it's a fantastic thing that Shinrid Road allotments are doing. Yes. And, uh, and now, like, you know, we were able to help out with providing these sort of things for, for the children, nice bright colours and things yes. like that for them. And, uh, what do you think this is going to do for the children? Well, it's going to broaden their experiences, first and foremost. As you said, it's nice for them to get their hands dirty. Um, in today's uh, academic pursuits, unfortunately, we tend to see literacy and numeracy as a driving force for everything and classroom-based, and things can get quite boring for the children sometimes yeah. unless teachers start thinking around different ways of doing things and trying to suit the learning to all of the children. So this isn't what all children would like to do come out on a cold wet day Not and today, get their no. hands dirty <laughs> however it's absolutely the ideal for some children yeah. and um, we have a, a relatively small school 128 and we want to cater for as many of those children in terms of their holistic growth yeah. um, so it, it will just be an opportunity as I said to draw upon the expertise yeah. and to provide that broader experience for them yeah it's a great thing up here because there's a lot of very knowledgeable people yes, who are yeah. able and are willing to give you the help and advice and um, as we've shown the, 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 the guys earlier on you know it's a really good area that they provided Completely. for you you've got the pond yeah. there so yeah. that children can learn about that and they've got drawing areas you know desks and yeah, things like that yeah. and the beds and things and, and now in here so it, it's really going to suit the you know the children no matter what weather because what I've found before when there's been other schools that have done something similar, um, they haven't had the polytunnel. No. And then all of a sudden the kids are all excited because, oh, yeah, we're going to go up to the allotment or whatever the case being. And then, of course, it's rained or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So even now with a, you know, a small class, you can still all cram in here, I suppose. Yes. And, and do some planting on yes. or whatever. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for spending well, your time. Well, thank you. Thank you very it. much. Thank you. So, guys, as you can see, you know, there's loads of stuff going on. This is a great resource for schools to be able to utilise. And I think that all allotments should be trying to give something, a little bit of area of land. As you can see, it's not a lot of land that we've given up here, but it's a big issue as far as the local schools and the next generation are concerned. So I think that, you know, if you can find that little bit of spare land on your allotments that you could possibly do something similar with and then apply for the grant and funding that is out there, then it's really going to make that difference to getting the next generation interested in gardening. We are going to be uh, building a section within our site. There are plans for this over the next few months um, where we are going to build a step-by-step -step, uh, section as a training aid for teachers for when they... Uh, want to come out and learn to do this because obviously the teachers may not know what they're doing and that's what's happened with the head teacher from uh, Lankayak Junior School. Um, she was unsure about everything so we've just directed them to our website but we're going to do a simplified version so that they can say right okay this is what I need to do today, this is what I need to do tomorrow, this is how I do this and so that will come up over the next few months and Brian and myself will work on that in order to bring that forward and you guys will be able to um, come to us and say right okay 
you know, this is something that we're going to be doing. Can we use this resource? And it'll be open for everybody to use. Yeah, guys, so this would be really, really nice if this would be supported by the National Allotment Society. So maybe have a chat with them to see whether, you know, the more people who actually speak to them about it, the more likely are, uh, likelihood they are of actually uh, wanting to support you with it. Um, because I think this is something that we, we must do. You know, there are uh, allotment lists are getting shorter now because there's not so many people, they're losing interest and what have you. Um, Hugh Fernie Whittenstall's just taken down his land share site because that's got no longer interest. So it's really important we bring this next generation on and we give them the tools they need in which to be able to grow their interest in gardening. So guys, if you're new to our site, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below because you know we really are uh, wanting to expand and get out into other areas and other countries. We're out there already, but you know if you're new, press that subscribe button, you'll be told about all new episodes. Don't forget, there's all episodes here on the left hand side. These are other sort of episodes that may have interest you as well. So from myself and the rest of the admin team, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.